Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So quickly let we will look at the features of polygon. Now these are the important features or important properties of polygons. First would be sides. So what are sides? Sides are nothing but the line segments that form the polygon. Now when you look at the line segments, so let, let's consider this polygon. So this polygon is made up of four sides. Now this side and this side which are located opposite to each other, they are called opposite sides. So when we talk about sides, we talk about two types of sides. One is opposite sides. For example, if we name this as A, B, C, D. So A, B and C, D. They are opposite sides because they are located opposite to each other. And when you talk about AB and BC, so they are located just one after another. That is, they have a common point. When you look at AB and CD, they do not have any common point. So they are opposite sides. But when you look at AB and BC, they have a common point that is B. Therefore, they are called adjacent sides. So AB and BC is are adjacent to each other. So they are adjacent sides. So adjacent sides will have a common point and opposite sides will not have a common point. The next features are vertices. Now vertices is the plural of vertex. So vertices refer to the points where the sides meet. So basically A, B, C, D, these are the points where the sides meet. A is the point where A, B and A, B meets. B is the point where A, B and B, C meets. C is the point where B, C and B, C meets and D is the point where A, D and C, D meets. So basically A, B, C, D, these are the vertices. Now in case of vertices also we have something like adjacent vertices and opposite vertices. So which ones will be adjacent vertices? The vertices which have a common side. That means which are located one after another like C and D are adjacent vertices. Similarly, A and D are adjacent vertices. A and B are adjacent vertices. Again, B and C are adjacent vertices. Correct? So, B and C are adjacent vertices. B and A are adjacent vertices. But do you think B and D are adjacent vertices? No. So, what are they? They are opposite vertices. Like B, D, they are opposite vertices. C, A, they are opposite vertices. The third feature would be angles. Now, how many angles are involved here when you look at this particular polygon? So you have one angle here, one angle here, one angle here and one angle here. So there are four interior angles which are involved here. Right? So what are, so, so how, how do you know which ones are the adjacent angles and which one are the opposite angles? Now I think I really do not need to tell you. Now you know that this angle and this angle, they are adjacent angles. Similarly, this angle and this angle also adjacent angles. But when you talk about this and this, these are not adjacent angles. They are opposite angles. The fourth feature is diagonal. Now what are diagonals? So diagonals are the line segments that joins non-adjacent vertices. Non-adjacent vertices are basically the opposite vertices. Now which are the opposite vertices here? A and C are opposite vertices. So a line joining A and C is called a diagonal. Similarly, the line joining B and D is called a diagonal. So when you look at this polygon with four sides, it can have only two diagonals because you have only two pair of non-adjacent vertices. Now let us try to draw diagonals for some other polygons. So here you see another polygon. This polygon has one, two, three, four and five, five sides. So let us name it as A, B, C, D and E. So if I ask you to draw diagonals, how will you draw diagonals and how many diagonals can you draw? For that, you will have to find out the non-adjacent vertices. Now, which would be non-adjacent verte vertex for A? So for point A, E is adjacent vertex and B is also adjacent vertex. 
But other than that, if you talk about D, so D is non-adjacent to A. Similarly, C is also non-adjacent to A. So basically, AD is an example of non-adjacent vertices. AC is also an example of non-adjacent vertices. Now let us talk about point B. So for B, A is adjacent, C is also adjacent, but E and D are non-adjacent. So BE is an example of non-adjacent vertex. Similarly, BD is an example of non-adjacent vertex. Let's do the same thing for C, D and A. E respectively and let us find out all the non-adjacent vertices. Now the lines joining these non-adjacent vertices like AD, AC, BE, BD all these are nothing but diagonals because diagonals are those which connect the non-adjacent vertices. Now in this diagram now as you have a polygon with more number of sides you have more number of vertices like as you saw in this picture you had only four sides so you had four vertices here you have five sides so you have five vertices now as the number of vertices increases the number of non-adjacent vertices also increases and therefore the number of diagonals also increases so the moment you have a, a bigger polygon with more number of sides you are going to get more diagonals in that polygon now let us look at this polygon with three sides now this is the smallest polygon possible because you cannot have a polygon with two sides so if you just have two sides it will never be become a closed curve because you want the, these two lines to be straight as well because polygons are made up of line segments so this is the smallest possible polygon with three sides now in this case let us name it as a b and c so how many diagonals can you draw here so when you look at this for point a d is adjacent c is also adjacent so a doesn't have any non-adjacent vertex and the same is true for b and c as well so you really do not have a pair of non-adjacent vertices therefore in this case you cannot have any diagonals so there are no diagonals for a polygon with three sides so you the concept of diagonal begins only when you talk about a polygon with four sides at least so a quick recap on diagonal of a polygon it is a line segment that connects two non consecutive vertices which in other words are the non adjacent vertices of a polygon so here on the screen you get to see a lot of polygons some with four sides some with eight sides some with five sides and so on now just try to draw diagonals for each of them now for instance let's say uh, i consider this polygon the pink one so what would be the diagonal so any two non adjacent vertices you join these two so that becomes a diagonal you join these two this also becomes a diagonal you join these two this also becomes a diagonal now similarly you pick up any polygon from the screen you pick up this one and join any two non adjacent vertices and that becomes a diagonal you join any two non adjacent vertices that would become a diagonal for that polygon now try this out yourself so you see a variety of polygons on the screen draw these polygons on your notebook and then try to draw their diagonals and you see how the number of diagonals changes with the number of sides of the polygon as the number of sides increases the number of diagonals also increase thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you